join me. I love him. I love him. Because he first loved me. And purchased my salvation on Calvary. And the saints of old used to say, Yes, 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 yes. One more time. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand, praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. On this resurrection day. It is time for praise and worship. Well, I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon that cross. And I know it was the blood for me. I know, I know, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. It was my Savior's blood. It was my Savior's blood. Hallelujah. It was my Savior's blood. It was my Savior's blood. For me, one day when I was lost, he died upon that cross, and I know it was the blood for me. I know, I know it was, I know it was the blood, I know it was the blood, I know it was the blood, was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God for the blood that came streaming down for me it was the blood hallelujah that made the difference at calvary yes it was i thank god for the blood that came streaming down for me, it was the blood that made the difference, it was the blood, hallelujah. That made the difference, it was the blood. That made the difference at Calvary. Hallelujah. Thank you. Give the Lord a hand, praise. Thank you for the blood. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. You may be seated. 
We have two special treats this morning for you, just for you. Amen. And we're going to have special music with our very own Thaddeus Edwards. Amen. Let's say praise the Lord as he comes. Come on, Brother Thaddeus. Amen. Amen. This won't take long. <laughs> a couple minutes at the most. But it's uh, a song entitled, You Say, A Talk With God. This life is worth living. You're telling me I am forgiven. This is really me. Are you the one? Are you supreme? You say that there are things I do that make no sense. I have to take responsibility and take the consequence. You say that you're the only way. You say. I tried, others didn't listen to the word from my mother. Uh, you say, it won't seem like a bother if you listen to the father. Uh, you say, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Uh, you say, I pray unceasingly and don't give up the fight. Uh, you say, when I am tired and try to do my best. Uh, you say, the strength of made perfect in my weakness. Uh, you say that you're the only way. Uh, you say I tried, others didn't listen to the word from my mother. Uh, you say it won't seem like a bother if you listen to the father. Uh, you say, uh, you say, uh, you say, uh, you say. Thank God for what he said because I am a true believer because he is the same yesterday as he was today, as he is today and will be tomorrow. So I just thank God that he rose, that he sent Jesus to give his word. And so I was just, I just wanted to have a conversation with him and let him know that you say all this and I believe what you say. Amen. Put your weight on it, huh? <laughs> Um, I like this song too because um, when I think about Jesus on that cross I know that actually I should have been up there yeah I should have been up there with him all of us all of us should have been <laughs> up there with him okay he, he did a lovely lovely loving thing for us and I thank you, Lord. Come on, let's go. The city was Jerusalem. The time was long ago. The people called him Jesus. crime was the love he showed now I'm the one to blame I caused all the pain you gave him sin the day he woke taught me how to live I taught him how to die and I'm the one to blame yes 
Cause I caused all the pain He gave him The day he wore my crown He could have called his holy father And said take me away Please take me away He could have said I'm not guilty And I'm not gonna stay I'm not gonna pay But he walked right through that gate And then on up that hill And as he fell beneath the weight he cried, Father, not my will, and I'm the one to blame. Yes, I cause all the pain. He gave himself. Yes, I'm the one to blame I caused all the pain He gave himself The day he wore my crown Hallelujah. It really won't matter because I'm, I'm going to be reading from a translation you don't have. Okay. It's called One Man, One New Man Bible, and it is uh, Jewish. So it doesn't matter what your translation is, you can follow me okay. if you can. But, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to say something a little different. I'd like for you to turn to Matthew chapter 17. Sometimes people have the understanding that Jesus was taken. Jesus was not taken. Jesus came with the goal in mind. And, and he fulfilled that purpose. We celebrate it today. But we need to understand that this is not the day he arose. And many people equate uh, different days that we celebrate with the actual day that something took place. But that's not so. Um, we call it Resurrection Day. Other people call it Easter. And so you'll find people chasing bunnies and, and looking for eggs and all kinds of things. But then when it comes time, people used to come to church for the Easter parade. It wasn't to celebrate his resurrection, but to see who got what and who had what on. In fact, in New York, they made a song and they used to have a parade, the Easter parade. And, and it talked about people wearing spring colors. It was an introduction to the spring season. And so you would find people with various spring colors. 
I don't want to point out Sister Terry, but she has a bright spring color today. Amen. Praise God. And, 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 and Sister Rebecca, yeah, they have, they have spring colors. That's right. Um, and there was a time when the church would be full of people with floral colors because it's the advent of spring. But Jesus came on purpose for a specific purpose. Uh, Matthew chapter 17, verse 22. And when they gathered in Galilee, Yeshua said to them, remember I said this is a Hebrew Bible, so they're going to call him Yeshua, not Jesus, okay? The Son of Man is going to be given unto you over, over into your, the hands of men, and they will kill him. And on the third day, he will be raised, Then they were exceedingly grieved because they didn't want to hear about the master being killed. But thank God he arose. Yes. And thank God that his purpose for dying was not in vain. It was not just to be doing something. It, it was to eradicate our sins. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Sister Margaret. Would you come here a minute, please? I forgot something. I want to call your attention to some, some uh, trivia information. Tell somebody she said trivia information. It's trivial, but it's not insignificant. It's not insignificant. I, I, I ran across this when I was reading for the message today, and it's a word. The word is anoki. Say it, anoki. It is one of the very powerful Hebrew words that's translated as I am. I am. The basic word translated I am is ani. Ani, but when you add the syllable key, it makes the word a very deliberate, deliberate, definite action word, meaning because I am. And according to this rendering, there are 100 times when the Lord says anoki, which is different from ani or ani. It's different in that it is more deliberate and more specific. It is more power packed. He's saying, I am. In other words, I'm the man. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm that one. Uh, if we were to use the vernacular of today. And we find that word uh, anoki in Genesis chapter 15. Verse 1, after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be in awe, Abram. I am your shield, and your reward will be exceedingly great. It is essential that we understand that when God says, I am, and he's saying, Anoki, that's what they're saying, he substituted the word I am, we, we know I am because of the translation, but he's saying Anoki. In other words, I am your God. Don't, don't get it confused. Don't get it twisted. I am the man. I am the one. And it's very definite and very uh, deliberate. And so they, they say it appears a hundred times in the Hebrew uh, scriptures. And so that, just to remind you, the Hebrew scriptures are the ones that we get our, our Bible from, one of the sources. And those were the scriptures that were rendered in the beginning or given in the beginning of time. 
I am the Lord your God who has brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Has God ever brought you out of Egypt or out of a foreign place or a place of bondage? Come on, let's give him praise. Amen. Because he's faithful, isn't he? Yes, he is. Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. You will not bow yourself to them or serve them, for I am the Lord Anoki, your God, a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children of the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, and showing loving kindness to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. Amen. Amen. Okay, and different, there, there, we're not going to go through the hundred scriptures, of course. We don't have time. Deuteronomy chapter 5, you will not bow down yourself to them nor serve them. For Anoki, I am the Lord, your God, a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of of the fathers upon the children of the third and fourth generation to those who hate me and showing mercy to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. God is very specific and he's very definite. He's very sure of what he says. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 51 verse 12. I am, I am Anoki. He who comforts you, who are you that you should serve a man who will die and of the son of man who will be as gra- who is made of grass? Chapter 51, verse 15. But Anoki, I am the Lord your God. Deliberate, intentional. I am the Lord your God who breaks the sea so its waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. There are many things and many entities that would present themselves as being in charge. But tell somebody God is in control. control. He has the final say. say. And he doesn't just say, I am. He says, I am with authority and with power and veracity. Amen. Amen. And so it means that he overrides, he overshadows everything else that you think may be in control or in charge of your circumstances, of your situations. I am Anoki. Hallelujah. Micah chapter 3. Behold, Anoki sending to you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he will turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. Psalm 81. I am the Lord your God, Anoki, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I shall fill it. So whenever we see I am, and that's what your Bible says, I am, you know that he's speaking about something that he is determined to do. And it's very purposeful. Psalm 46, verse 11. Be still and know that I am God, Anoki. I shall be exalted among the heathens. I shall be exalted in the earth. Tell somebody, if God said it, that settles it. It doesn't matter who does what or how they do what. It doesn't matter at all. He says, I am God. I've got some echo in here, brother. Thank you. Be still and know. Tell somebody, calm yourself. yourself. 
and know. And know. In other words, be assured of, be confident in, be, be reliant on the fact that I am God. It may seem that things are going awry and they're going tipsy-turvy and it seems that you can't even uh, circulate your mind around what's going on. How many have you ever been in a situation like that where it just seems that everything is going topsy-turvy? Chaotic, yes, that's a good word. You, you don't understand why. You don't know why. You don't see why. Yet he says, be still, quiet yourself, be still, check it out. I am God. I am the final say. I am the end all, the be, of the be all. I will be exalted among the heathens, and I will, shall be exalted in the earth. I am God. Come on, say, tell God, You're, you are God. And so... He said, Anoki, know it definitely, know it positively, that he is God. He has the final say, period, point blank. But the facts are, I don't care about the facts. God will supersede, and he can supersede the facts. Because he is the truth, the way, and the life. Hallelujah. He will cause circumstances to come under his control. Amen. He can turn things around. How many of you have you seen have seen him turn things around? They should have gone one way, but he called them to go another way. He's a faithful father. Now in your Bible, I think I think we can go pretty much according to this. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Many people don't believe that Jesus died and rose again. But I believe it. Chapter 15, verse 1. 1 Corinthians. And I am making known to you, brothers, the good news which I proclaimed to you, which then you accepted in which you have also stood and through which you are being saved if you hold fast to the kind of message I preached to you, except in case you believed in vain. Verse 3, for I gave over to you at first that also I had accepted, that Messiah died on behalf of our sins according to the scriptures, and verse 4, and that he, bur he was buried, and that he rose on the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen by Cephas, and then by the twelve. Then he, he was seen by more than 500 brothers at one time, most of whom are remaining now, until now, but some fell asleep. In other words, they died. Then he was seen by Jacob, then by all of the apostles, and last of all, as in an untimely birth, he was seen by me, for I am the least of the apostles, who is not qualified to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the congregation of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace which is in me did not become ineffective, but I labored more than all of them, not, not I, but the grace of God, which is in me. Now, whether it was I or those on this way, we are proclaiming, and so you believed. He's alive. Amen. And he's well. Amen. All is well. Amen. So we have the witness of these brethren who, who were alive at that time. Uh, they saw him after he resurrected. And it was important that that be pronounced or stated, in other words, because many people did not believe in the resurrection of the dead. And in fact, they didn't believe in the resurrection of Messiah. 
So Yeshua, the Messiah, rose again, and it was de declared and authenticated by those people who were around, amen, and, and saw him. And so how many of you know sometimes we don't believe things unless we see them? I got to see that first. Amen. Before I believe. But Jesus is alive. Thank you so much. Jesus is alive. He is real. All right, as we continue on, verse uh, chapter 15, verse 12. And if it is preached that Messiah rose from the dead, how are some among you saying that there is no resurrection for of the dead? But if there is not a resurrection of the dead, then Messiah has not, has not risen. And if Messiah has not risen, then also our preaching is in vain, and your faith is in vain. And then we are being found false witnesses of God. Because we testified of God that he raised Messiah, whom, if indeed the dead are not really being raised, he has not risen. For if the dead are not raised, then Messiah has not been raised. And if Messiah has not been raised, your faith is useless. You are still in your sins. And consequently, those who, are, those who sleep in Messiah are lost and if we only have hope in Messiah for his life, we are all miserable people. But now Messiah has been raised from the dead. Tell somebody he's raised, he's raised from the dead. There was an anthem that said, up from the grave he arose with, with triumph in his hand. Amen. And so, and so we don't have to die eggs anymore. How, how many of you grew up with that tradition? Oh, yeah. Dying eggs. The day before, the night before Easter. <laughs> Amen. And, and we had fun, huh? And some people had a family basket. Others had baskets individually for their children, right? Yes. Oh, that we would put as much emphasis in the fact that he arose from the grave. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 He died, was buried once and for all, brought captive, kept those in captivity, he brought them captive, he caused them to be freed, in other words. We who, who were dead in sin, he resurrected. Verse 20, but now Messiah has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have slept. 21, for since death is through a man, then resurrection of the dead is through a man. For just as all are dying in Adam, so also all be made alive in Messiah. But each in his own order. Messiah is first fruits, then those of the Messiah at his coming. Then the end. Then when he would give over the kingdom to God the fa and Father. When every leader and every authority and every power will be brought to an end. For it is necessary for him to reign until the time when he would place all his enemies under his feet. Death is the last enemy to be abolished. For he subjected all things under his feet. And when he would say that all things are being subjected, it is clear that the one who subjects all things to Messiah is himself accepted. When all things would be subject to him, then also the son himself would have been subjected to the one who subjected all things to him, so that God would be all in all. He is risen. 
He died purposely. He, he surrendered himself to the authorities. He, he was not taken. He surrendered himself to the authorities. And he told the disciples before it took place that it was going to take place. How many of you have ever heard God tell you something and you just kind of, uh, okay, and, and played it off? And then it came to pass. Everything he says is going to come to pass. So he told them, he told them in chapter 17 of Matthew, when they gathered to see him, that the Son of Man is going to be taken and given into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And on the third day, he will be raised. They were amazed when he got up, or they were amazed to know that he was not still in the grave. And many, many of us are amazed. Listen, we need to be amazed to the fact that we trust him enough to give our lives to him. Amen. Allow the, the salvation of the Lord to be ours. That's what he guaranteed. That's what he offered. That's what he gave when he went to that cross. He didn't go for nothing. He went on purpose. To die for our sins that we might be saved. Tell somebody you don't have to stay in the funk you're in. You don't have to stay in the situation you may be in today. Your soul can be rescued. Amen. Without God, you can do nothing. But with him, you can do all things. Without God, you can do nothing. But with him... All things are possible because he is the great I am. I am every day. He is, I am the great one. I am the man. I am the one. I am the final say. I am the be all in all. I am the resurrection and the life. I am. Whatever I choose to be, that's what he is. So whatever you need him to be, that's what he'll be. Amen. You might say, well, it looks impossible. It may look impossible, but the great I am is the creator. So all things are possible through him. Why? Because he made it. He can put it in place. Amen. Even stuff that looks like it's just off track. He, he can bring it back in alignment. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen them do it in a way that is shocking. Yes. It's surprising, in other words. Yeah. It didn't look like it could be done, but he can do it. Yeah. You talk about Elmer's glue. God is the one who can put things together. Anything. Yeah. Tell somebody, God is the be all. God is the be all. He is, I am. Praise God. Definitely he is. Deuteronomy 4, 8. And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this Torah or teaching, which I am giving you this day. I am God. I am your Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of slavery. I am the God who brings you out of whatever bondage you're in. It doesn't matter how significant and how long standing it is. I am breaks bonds. I am breaks chains. I am destroys strongholds. I am will bring you out of the hell that you're in today. Right now, I am is a healer. I am is a restorer. I am. I am. That's, that's who he is. I am. And he says that with deliber deliberation, definite. Definite statement. Jesus. 
Not I want to be. I am. Amen. I am. That's why I'm standing here. I am. That's why I'm able to stand here. I am. That's why I'm able to even talk. I'm telling you, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So it doesn't matter what day they, they decide to have Resurrection Day on. I want to celebrate it every day because I am. Is my vigilante. I am. Is my sufficiency. Oh, yes. I am yeah. is my backup. Yeah. I am yeah. is my posse. Yeah. He who knew no sin became sin for us. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So good. We think many times of him dying on the cross. Jesus sacrificed before he got on the cross. Jesus sacrificed as he lived his life. As we look through scripture and, and, and other books, we see that Jesus kept himself with a Nazarite vow, a vow of sacrifice, of his earthly pleasures. He sacrificed himself. So that we can live. Tell somebody he wants you to have life. And to have it more abundantly. That means not haphazardly. No, he's a God of def definition and, 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 and uh, appropriateness. He's a God. He's a God who, 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 who will do what he's going to do. And he's going to be definite and profound in it. Jesus. Amen. Amen. I am he who knows and I am a witness, says the Lord. Amen. Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I am Anoki, I am Anoki knows the thoughts, plans, and intentions that Anoki thinking toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Well, you don't know what I've done. I don't care what you've done. Anoki, Anoki is telling you it's cool. Because I got you. Anoki is saying, I became what you did. Yeah, you should have been up there, but I died for the ungodly. So whatever, you can put whatever name you want to put on there. He died for you. Come on, tell somebody, he died just for me. This is one time he allows you to be selfish. And know that he died just for you. He died deliberately on purpose just for you. It was not a fluke. It was not a mistake. He died intentionally just for you. That you might be saved. That you may have eternal life. Everybody is going to have life everlasting life but it may not be eternal in terms in, in other words in peace with God but he died that you might be saved I want uh, can we distribute the communion now the Lord's table, please. We want to celebrate the Lord's table right now. Because this day is about him. Amen. It's not about your ham hocks. 
and 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 and, and whatever else you have. It's not about your oxtails and whatever else you have. How many of you grew up with the Easter dinner? It usually had ham on the table. Some kind of ham or something. Some of us grew up eating the wrong stuff and enjoyed it. Amen. Feet under the table, wiggling your feet. Toes. Amen. It's about he arose. But because he lives, we can live also. When you get the elements, just hold them. We'll, we'll take it together. We usually have young men, little boys, giving the sacraments, the elements. Thank you. This blood, this grape juice here represents the blood of Jesus that was shed for the, rem the remission of your sins, for the complete eradication of your sins. No matter what you've done, no matter how many times you've done it, the blood is strong enough to eradicate it, to get rid of it, to get it, wash it away. Amen. To render your slate clean. Amen. No matter what you've done. And no matter how many times you've done it, tell somebody the blood, the blood. Washes, away washes away all sin. All sin. Thank, you, Lord. Thank God for the blood. You, and then his body was delivered, sacrificed for our healing. Amen. By his stripes, we are healed. We were healed. Thank God. So take the first layer of this element, you'll see that it'll come off and expose the wafer. Father, we acknowledge the sacrifice of Jesus. And, and as he had supper with the disciples, he told them to take the bread, break it, and eat. And we do this in remembrance of him. Remove the bottom foil part. It exposes the juice. Be, be watchful. Don't spill it on your clothes. Be gender and tender with it. Don't spill it on your clothes. Just pull it back. It'll go back easily, pretty easily. All right, let's take the blood. The blood was given for the remission of your sins. The eradication of your sins. All right, they're going to be coming around with something to put, put the cup and what have you in. Don't put it on the floor, please. Put it in this receptacle that they're bring, sending around, that they're bringing around. Yes, I said, I thought I said drink it. I'm sorry.
I don't know how many of you are from the old school, but uh, if you know this song, sing it with me. All the blood, all the blood, all the blood done sign my name. Wrong bad English, but the message is clear. All the blood, all the blood done sign my name. All the blood, all the blood, all the blood done sign my name. All the blood done sign my name. Jesus told me and he showed me that the blood done sign my name. Jesus told me and he showed me that the blood done sign my name. Jesus showed me and he told me that the blood done sign my name. All oh, the blood done sign my name. All right. Who here has not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? You've not accepted his blood-bought work. He died for you. Tell somebody, he died for me. And he rose for me. In other words, his death and his resurrection are significant because he didn't stay dead. He arose, giving us hope that we'll have life forever. Amen. Amen. So although I may be dead in my trespasses and sins, the blood of Jesus and the resurrection, the sacrifice of Jesus has caused me to have hope. I shall live again. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Who needs to accept Jesus today and experience his resurrection power? That doesn't mean you're going to fall all over the floor and have some kind of emotional something. Uh, it means that you will accept him in your heart and you will allow him to transform you, renew you, Change your mind. Change the way you think. Give it purpose. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We can sing. We can sing all day. He got up. He arose. We can play some songs that make you jump a jig. And when you finish jumping and you sit down, you still got to sell yourself with the fact that he lives. And he lives forever. And he lives so that you can live. So that you can have life abundantly. Amen. Because he died once and for all. Bless his name forevermore. Anoki, I am. I am Anoki. I am the God who delivers you. I am. I am the man. I am the one. Is there one? Ask the person next to you, do you need Jesus to be your Savior and your Lord? Sister Pat is here to show you through the scripture how you can be born again and how you can have assurance of salvation. No matter what you've done, no matter where you are, God still loves you. Tell somebody, God loves me. He loves you He's with an everlasting love, he said. Anoki, I am God. 